guys, so today I've got an update on the Purito sunscreen scandal controversy that we've been talking about for a while now. And recently, uh, actually this morning, a lab came back with uh, test results that they have done showing that the Purito Centella sunscreen, instead of being an SPF 50, is actually on SPF of 19. This has been a tough year for sunscreens. There's been, actually the last few years, there's been so many different scandals going on. So I thought I would talk about my thoughts about it a little bit, alternatives, because I know a lot of people love this because it doesn't feel like a sunscreen. So I've got some alternatives for you and thoughts. I was really gonna wait and put together a more polished video, maybe tomorrow, but I decided that it's really important this had to go out as soon as possible because there are people using this every day and especially people with histories of skin cancer or skin cancer in their families that are looking for really good sunscreen so it's important to use one that's very good spf 19 would not be something i'd recommend for somebody to use on a daily basis and to be honest i'm not sure who i'm more disappointed with purito or the regu regulatory boards that approved this because no brand can just release a sunscreen and sell it to millions of people with claims they have to be approved by a board because sunscreen is regulated as a drug not a skincare product a serum can be sold anyhow anywhere but when you're sunscreen you make claims and those claims have to be substantiated by a board and in my opinion, this whole thing really calls into question all of the uh, K-Beauty sunscreens because they're all overseen by the same regulatory board. Personally, I don't think this is trash. I don't think you just throw this away. I, I mean, on dark winter days when I'm going for a walk outside and there's no sun out, I think this is a fine sunscreen if you're going to the beach you're gonna be outside in very sunny conditions all day. This is not the one you would pick. And it's not the one I would recommend to people for those needs before I knew this. So for my use of this, it really doesn't change the way I would use this one a lot because I really didn't rely on this one because it's not sweat resistant, things like that. But a lot of people did. And um, unfortunately, we're all gonna pay for it at some point. So Purito uh, put out kind of a little bit of a statement, which I'll just uh, summarize. They had a manufacturer create the sunscreen, which had a big history of developing quality sunscreen products. Uh, this was approved by the KFDA before the product was launched, put on the market. So uh, there's other sunscreens that have been discussed in the same light, uh, the Claire's Airy Soft uh, and the Keep Cool. Uh, they don't all use the same filters, but they are all seen over the same regulatory board. Uh, so Purito, this has been pulled. They're not selling it. They're pausing it right now. Interestingly enough, when I looked up the Claire's on several websites, it was either sold out or just not listed. It's still available on some sites, but the Keep Cool is, I didn't see that sold out or discontinued anywhere. So it really does, in my opinion... I don't know if I'm more frustrated with Purito, although they're doing the right thing by pausing the sales, but they do have to be approved by these regulatory boards. So who approved them? I mean, we've saw a big scandal last year where this company that was paid to test all these sunscreens basically taking the money, not really testing the sunscreens. This was in the US. Uh, we don't know the brands, but I'm sure that's not gonna be public. Um, so it really is interesting. So some of these regulatory boards just either aren't doing their job or don't know what they're doing or they're paid by somebody. I'm not exactly sure. I don't really trust a lot of people. Although when it comes to some brands, I do inherently trust them because while well, they're making a product that's a drug, it's gotta be regulated, it's gotta be tested, formulated, even though the ingredients look a little different than you see for most sunscreens. That, at some point I trust them, but obviously from going forward, I mean, I don't think I'll trust anything really. I guess uh, when it comes to like government agencies, I don't trust them. So the regulatory board, I guess, maybe they were just paid, maybe they were just defunct or maybe they just didn't know what they're doing. That's always a possibility. 
So it's very disappointing. Personally, I don't think the Purio sunscreen is garbage. I think you could use it on a day. You're going to be inside mostly. But don't think you're getting SPF 50. I think I would actually take the little bottle and I'd take a marker and write 19 on it. So you know you're not going out with 50 coverage. You're going out with 19 coverage which isn't great. I recommend 30 and above on a daily basis. So anyway, so some alternatives, I guess, and I'm not going to recommend any more J beauty sunscreens because at this point I inherently don't trust any of them because I don't think that board has been doing a very good job with their oversight. So, um, anyway, the alley sunscreen, this one's great. This one has done great in tests. Uh, they've done a lot of uh, live human tests. Actually, like in China, they did one where they put blocks everyone's back, and then they put different sunscreen and test them, and this one did great on that one. So, and this one is J-Beauty, not K-Beauty, and I sometimes I throw them all into the same mix because I just buy them all from the same site typically, but this one is one I trust. It does have a little bit of alcohol in it, no fragrance, so this one feels a lot like the nice lotion-y feel of the Purito, so... That one is a great one. I picked this one up recently, the Urage 100, Verisun 100. Uh, it says it's got uh, SPF 50 plus. This one is regulated. This one's made in France, so it's regulated in Europe. I've also heard Australia has amazing sunscreens. They have some of the strongest sun ever. I wish when I was in Australia I would have picked up some of those darn sunscreens. I kind of missed my chance, didn't I? So those are definitely worth checking out. But this one I've been able to use now several times. I've really enjoyed it. Seems to have all the good filters. Although I'll take it out with a grain of salt. One other thing I want to mention, the HelioCare, these capsules have uh, ingredients in them which are proven or studied and have shown to be effective to prevent sun damage. So you take one capsule before you go out in the sun and some of the ingredients in there seem to help your skin fight off the uh free radicals and damage from sun. So this is something you could take. I also highly recommend layering sunscreens. Um, layering them, put on a sunscreen, then use a foundation with a sunscreen, then use a powder with a sunscreen. And when you layer them, you're just, you're just helping to lessen the likelihood that you're gonna get damage. I mean, and if one of those sunscreens happens to be terrible, at least you've got two other ones and maybe the helio care on top of it so um anyway uh la roche pose they've got some great sunscreens a lot of them have a lot of alcohol in them this one is probably my favorite one from them but it does have a lot of alcohol but if you layer it with a good hydrating serum and a hydrating moisturizer underneath it won't be as big of a deal but this one i, I really like um bioderma not regulated by um korea so we Probably won't have those issues, but they're a uh, photoderm line. I like the photoderm aqua fluid max. This one's really nice. It does feel a little bit like a sunscreen. It's not as light and lotiony as the other ones, but this one's a nice one. The Can Make Mermaid UV gel. This one's made in Japan too. So this one also has a really nice lotiony feel. Feels a lot like the Purito, except hopefully I'm actually getting sun coverage. At this point, I kind of have to throw into doubt a lot of sunscreens because really in the US, we don't have that great of sunscreens either because even though we might have the SPF burn protection, we don't have the UVA stuff down at all here. I mean, the UVA protection, which is the stuff that damages and causes wrinkles in the U.S., we don't have that going on at all. We don't have any good new filters at all. So, um, And then the uh, Bior Athazim. Athazim. I've had a couple of these little tubes. It, this one also has a little bit of alcohol and a little bit of fragrance but I don't notice the scent at all with this one, but this one's also really nice and hopefully has real coverage. Um, yeah, so I don't, here's another sunscreen that Dr. Jart Sikapair, this was recently studied, even though it says SPF 30, this one is like nine. So it's very disappointing when you start to think that, and I don't really necessarily believe Purito is really after people's money because they really do listen to people with a lot of their products, they will change them. Uh, this one, their Dermite Sika Sleeping Pack, a lot of people complain that it had coconut oil in it. So what do they do? They reformulate without coconut oil. They listen to people, so it's nice. They're in touch with a lot of influencers. So 
Um, that's something to keep in mind, although I don't take a penny from any brand, so I can say whatever the heck I want about anybody, and I will. But I don't necessarily think Purito is out to scam people. <sighs> but it is something to think about. Although, you know what? If you haven't found anything else you like, this is still better than no sunscreen at all. So take that into consideration too. So a lot of so's and a lot of thoughts. And I, I could have waited to put out my polish video, but I just wanted to get this one out there so you guys know what's going on right now. There's just a lot going on with the world and sunscreen and skincare and every day is an adventure. So anyway, those are my thoughts. Always use your own mind when you're deciding products. Don't listen to anybody uh, 100% because no one is always a perfect and some people be, are trying to sell you things without really telling you they're selling you things. So don't really listen to anybody implicitly. Always make up your own mind. That's the other thing. So because almost all influencers are either getting paid or they're getting sponsored products or something. Ever, all of them except me. All of them are making a lot of money except me. <laughs> but anyway. Okay, I digress. So those are my thoughts. I'm more interested in what you guys are thinking. So leave a comment. And if you have any great sunscreen suggestions, uh, definitely leave them below. Because I'm sure there are going to be a lot of people that are looking for good sunscreens. So anyway, help everyone out. And thank you so much. And I will uh, hear from you more soon. Okay. Maybe we'll talk. I'm going to do a live stream uh, next weekend. Friday, December 11th, I think. So maybe this is going to be one thing we talk about because there's a lot of things going on. I'm sure more things will come to light between now and a week from now. So anyway, okay. Thank you guys so much.